So if um, penises are too weird for the Western palates, others and um, strange delicacies going to Yao San Port include saliva from um, swallow's nest and the cordyceps, swallow's nest, um, which is commonly known as bird nest. And this is um, actually made with bird nest and uh, almond milk. Um, uh, like hasma, it is traditionally used to replenish the yin qi in the lung. And because it cannot, oh, I'll just show you a picture what actually it looks like. So this is some various types of bird nest. <laughs> because it cannot be harvested in a large quantity, it had to, uh, it, it was a rare delicacy reserved for the imperial banquet. Um, with the rise of conspicuous consumption from the late 19th century, it became a highly sought after items for the elite and the wealthy. It became a symbol of status. So, but after the emperor was chased out of the forbidden city, it became a master item for the um, mock imperial bank um, cuisine or the official cuisine. Um, so you can tell, you know, see that while the Republicans detested the emperor, they loved to be able to eat like an emperor. After 1949, um, in Mao's China, luxury f food like this disappeared from the public food scene. It doesn't mean they didn't exist, but you have to have a certain privilege to be a certain rank to be able to consume such thing for ordinary people is just out of reach. Uh, I don't really know whether Mao liked such thing, but he, I think he preferred a young woman than luxury food. In post Mao China, however, conspicuous consumption had not only come back, it, has also, um, it is also encouraged by the government. So to consume, in other words, is not to engage in politics. Um, it has now become you know, part of the integral part of maintaining China as this harmonious society. In other words, harmonious society means just to earn money and spend it and be happy. So bird nest is back on the banquet table again. Like bird nest, cold sips, this is cold sips. Um, this is how it looks like, um, no money. Um, is another luxury plus medical food. It is fungus type of plants growing in the mountain regions of Tibet and the Western Sichuan. Known as a divine gift and a magic mascot, it is said to possess a healing power that no other plants can compete. Due to the precious little amount growing each year for a long time, only emperors and their families had the privilege of taking it. Since the early part of the 17th century, it appeared in therapeutic recipes in Sichuan, often cooked with duck and was said to be beneficial to health. Sex-obsessed Chinese elites took it as aphrodisiac. The demand drove the market to grow. Farmers in Sichuan, as well as in Yunnan and Guizhou, saw the huge market potential here, so they began to cultivate. However, it never took off the same way as cultivation of opium in the region, which increasingly became an important medicine around the same time and was also mistaken to be aphrodisiac. So no production actually spared um, cordyceps, the fate of being eradicated like opium. And today it continues to enjoy its place as luxury in Yaosan and there are entire banquets based on it. In Beijing, quite recently, about three months ago, I went to inquiry, a private kitchen actually serves um, the, this um, um, banquet made with cordyceps and it charges 10,000 yuan um, for the whole banquet which is like the equivalent of two months salary for ordinary professor in China. <laughs> so, so I'll just show you some. This is some cordyceps made with a snake. And this is the um, traditional sort of um, and yao san with the duck. So although many of the Yao San restaurants also serve popular home remedies, which had been in use in China for centuries, but they are not the main attraction. As a consumer product, while Yao San continue to play a vital part in keeping health in today's, in today's China, it is clearly market-driven. Luxury food is where the big money is. And with the globalization, Yao San, like other healing traditions and local healing system, has also found its way in the West. So we've heard about goji berry, 
which um, you can now purchase in health food shops as tonics. Mm. Well, you know. So perhaps before um, to now, you know, um, Yao San Wu also become a commonplace worldwide just as um, um, traditional Chinese medicine. I think Wave is um, wanting to open the first Yao San restaurant in, China, uh, in London, so maybe you can invest money in her. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. That was great. <coughs> I'm going to allow just one question, only one. Um, I looked at my research on what Hippocrates wrote about Hippocrates, well, the Hippocratic doctor. Uh, during my research, I found that there are many, many similarities with what Chinese people say and what Persian people say. You gave the example of gold. gold pumpkin, that is supposed to be a cooling food. That's exactly what is said in the Hippocratic Corpus as well. And in Persian, if you ask Iranian people, they say uh, pumpkin is to cool down, uh, is used as cooling. So how did this happen? Do you have any idea? How did the ancient Greeks I think the Chinese must You probably have to ask Vivian this question because she works on medieval period and you know um, whereas I, I just work on modern history so um, I don't really you know I'm not very really familiar with medieval material. Okay on that note I'm inviting you to talk to Vivian about it and maybe other scholars in the room and I think it <coughs> sorry everybody for um, their presentations this morning to keep this time and now, on the assumption we probably have to wash your hands if you're going to put anything on your face or... Yes, quite well. If you've had the third one, I would... Yeah, recommend. wash your hands before you go and eat. And it don't might put not it come off, though. It might just dissolve into it, the skin. It, and might have, it might have gone, but I'm always very cautious with this stuff. <coughs> and, <coughs> sorry, how many people are walking? Because maybe we ought to... Oh, right. <laughs> Almost everybody. So those who are not walking... Um, maybe you ought to gather in a corner and go and get a taxi together and the rest of us follow the walkers please.